I hope you believe me now. I have to. Good to have a little more happy about it. Look, Bobby, I never pretended to be happy about any of this. Okay, okay. Come on, Scotty, don't get mad. Come on. Hey, let's have dinner. Jesse and Dad tonight, and then we can tell them that we're going up to Canada tomorrow to get married, okay? No, Bobby, I can't tonight. I've got too many things I gotta do to get ready for tomorrow and everything else. Yeah, sure. I'm sure you're gonna have plenty of time to go see little Laura. Absolutely, Bobby. That's if she'll see me. And I'm also gonna tell Rick and Leslie about the results of this examination. I'll just bet you are. All of the Webbers. Now, what do you gotta say it like that for? Because you were perfectly content with Dr. Haynes' report on my condition. And all of a sudden, at the clear blue sky, you insist that I have to go and be examined by Gina Dante. So? So I wasn't born yesterday. I know that it was somebody else's idea. Wasn't it? Actually, it was. Whose? I would rather not yeah, say, Bob. I know you'd rather not say because I know it was Laura's idea. I know that she would love to make you believe that I've been lying about the whole thing. It wasn't Laura. I didn't expect you to admit it. All right, Bobby, if you really want to know, it was Leslie, all right? So let's just drop the subject for good! Consider it dropped. Now, look, Bobby, we're going to just make plans tomorrow, all right? I'll see you then. Scotty! What? You made reservations for us in some nice place? No, Bobby, I haven't, but I will. But it's not going to be anything too fancy. I mean, look, I know you don't have a lot of money, but... I'm sure if you talk to your father, you'd be willing to help us out so we could have a decent honeymoon. We could pay him back. Wait, wait, let's get something straight right now, Bobby. This is no honeymoon. You have to bite my head off. Bobby, look, it's just going up to get married quickly, period, all right? So don't go romanticizing this into something that it never will be, understand? That doesn't mean it has to be dismal and grim, does it? No, Bobby, it just has to be something that I can afford because I am not taking any money from Lee for something that I got myself into, some rotten mess. The test results are positive. Bobby is pregnant. And as your family doctor told you, you should produce a healthy baby by midsummer. Oh, but no, I'm going to call the lab first to make sure they put a rush on your test. So we'll get it today. <sighs> Hello, Lester. It's Gina Dodd. Hi, Jeannie. Hey, hi, Bobby. I am not going to be seeing you in classes for the next few days. Oh, and well, how come? I'm taking some time off. Mm. Some time off, huh? Is that it? I mean, is there no special reason or... TV? There is a very special reason, and if you promise that you'll keep it a secret, I'll tell you. I'm getting married. No kidding! <laughs> Off to Canada on a really special honeymoon, Jeannie. It's all so romantic. It's 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 just like something out of the movie. <laughs> okay, bye. Hello, Dory. Hello. Did you see Scotty Lee? Uh, no, no, I didn't. Oh, that's funny. You left the second floor before I did. Some special reason for these high spirits today? Uh huh. And if you promise to keep it a secret, I'll tell you. Oh, well, Bobby, if it's something personal, I really don't think I should know. But perhaps you shouldn't tell me. Well, Dory, actually, it is very personal. But, and I really shouldn't be telling anybody, but if I hold it any longer, I think I'm going to bust. Oh, dear me. Well, we can't have that, can we? Dory, Dory, Scotty and I are getting married. What? Married. You and Scotty? <laughs> yeah. We're driving up to Canada tomorrow morning. You and Scotty? Yeah. Well, are you going to say something? Oh, well, yes. I, I, is that why you're having special leave from classes? Of course it is, Dory. Isn't it so romantic? Yes, well, I'm sure it is. It's just, well, I must admit, I have a little difficulty keeping up with your relationship with Scotty. Oh, well, Dory, I mean, we've had our ups and downs, but as they say, true love will out. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm so glad that you're happy, and, well, I'd like to wish you both the very best. Thanks, Dory. I'll tell Scotty for you when I see him. <laughs> Gina was my last hope. Sorry, Scotty. And now I, I have to go ahead with my plans to drive to Canada to marry Bobby. Scotty, I sympathize with you. I'm part of it. Rick, the thing that bothers me the most is, I mean, I can get through all of this until the baby is born. If only that... If only what? I just feel so damn guilty about Laura and what this has done to her. 
Now we know what her problem is, we're going to do everything we can to help her get through it, Scotty. I know, it's just that we had, we had such hopes for the year ahead of us. Scotty, you know I'd be opposed to this engagement, even if Bobby wasn't pregnant. I realize that, Rick, but I love Laura, and none of this has touched that. I'm sure it hasn't. I can understand. And none of this is ever going to change that, and I still hope that things are going to work out for us so that I can still marry Laura. Scotty, do you really believe that Laura is emotionally capable of handling a commitment like marriage right now? Rick, I've seen a tremendous change in Laura these last couple of months, especially when I told her that I loved her and I just wanted to spend my life making her happy. And that proved something to Laura for the first time in her life. Yeah, well, you've also seen the sudden change that's come over her since things went wrong, haven't you? Yes. Well, doesn't that convince you that she's still uh, emotionally immature to handle these type of emotions? Rick, all I know is I love Laura. And I can't change that, Rick, even if I wanted to. And I would really like to come by and see her tonight, if it's okay with you. Because I have to see her before I go to Canada. On one condition, that you don't upset her any further. I promise you, I won't. Right, good luck, Scotty. Thank you. Hey, Rick, let me ask you, will you level with me on something? Of course. Am I doing the right thing by marrying Bobby, or am I just being a fool? Being Scotty Baldwin, I don't see how you could do much of anything else. That's what I would expect of a young man with high principles. I wish I didn't have those. I know the feeling, Scotty, but principles aren't something you can put in a dark corner just because they get in the way at some time. Yeah, yeah, but they can sure get in the way. I'll see you. Well, uh, thank you for telling me. Although I certainly had hoped for a different verdict. Yeah, yeah, so did I. I told Rick all about it. He said it'd be all right for me to come by and see Laura tonight. Oh, yes, of course it would. We'll try to see that you have some time alone together to talk. Great. That's if Laura will even talk to me. Well, you have to try. Yeah. See, I just don't want anybody to tell her about my plans. And I want to somehow, some way, convince her that there's still hope for us down the road. I hope you can make her believe that for her sake. Uh, I guess I'll go find Rick. Um, I think we'll be home early tonight, so just come by whenever it's convenient for you. Okay. Good night. Oh, uh, Scotty. Yes, Roy. I uh, understand from Bobby that congratulations are in order. I hope you'll both be very happy. Hardy. This is Bobby Spencer. So I'm yeah, really sorry about it. I know it is. <laughs> oh, Bobby, that's all right. What is it? Well, I just wanted to tell you that I am definitely starting my leave tomorrow, and I wanted to thank you again for arranging it for me. Well, you're more than welcome. Do uh, you know when you'll be back? I'm not positive, but it should be in three or four days, I think. Well, I, I hope whatever it is will work out for you. It will, Mrs. Hardy, and now I can tell you what it is. Oh? Yes. Scotty Baldwin and I are going to Canada to be married. That's right. Laura. Laura? You're wrong, Ma. You folks went to the den so we could be alone. For what? To talk. Laura, they said that you agreed to talk to me. No, I just told them that to get them to change the subject. I, I don't have anything to say to you. Laura, th will you please come down here and will you listen to what I have to say? Scotty, you don't have to worry about me. There, there won't be any more of those silly, childish outbursts. I, I'm just fine, really. Laura, you're not fine. I know that you're not. How do you know? Because I'm not fine. I've never been worse in my life. 
Well, that's really too bad, but um, I'm just fine. Oh. I've got a lot of homework to do. Laura. What? Laura, look at me and tell me that you don't love me. And you tell me that you don't want to spend the rest of your life with me. Like you did a couple of weeks ago, Laura. If you can say that, then I'll go. And we don't have to talk about anything again. Laura, turn around and look at me. Please. Tell me. Tell me you don't love me. Come on, say it. I... I don't... as happy as you are right now. <laughs> I know I will be now that I'm marrying Scotty. I can't get over it. It all happened so suddenly. You're happy for me, though, aren't you, Jesse? Oh, honey, of course I am. This is what you want. I do. I want this more than anything in the world. Well, then I wish you a lifetime of happiness with Scotty. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> but it still was all so sudden. I mean, the last time I talked to you, you were miserable because we were breaking up. Oh, boy, was I ever miserable. <laughs> well, what changed his mind? Well, like I told you, he just suddenly realized that I was the right girl for him, after all. Well, when did he ask you to marry him? A few days ago, and Jesse, I have been just bursting to tell you, but we decided that we were going to keep it a secret, and you know, until we got everything all worked out. Well, what made you decide on being married in Canada? Actually, that was Scotty's idea. He thought that it would be more romantic, kind of like eloping. Well, I'll give you a big party when you get back. There isn't time to give you one now if you're leaving tomorrow morning. By the way, where's the happy bridegroom? Home packing. Well, call him up, get him over here, so we can congratulate him in person. Oh, well, actually, Dan, no, he has a lot of studying to do. I mean, missing the next few days of classes and all. Well, I think I'll call him anyway. Offer him my condolence. I mean my congratulations. No, Dan, don't disturb him now, really. I'm going over there later, and I'll, I'll tell him what you said. Actually, you have to get some rest. You know, we have a long drive tomorrow. I am sure that Scotty is in such a state he's not getting anything done. I'm sure that I'm going to have to pack for him and everything. Honestly, he is the classic case of a nervous bridegroom. 